Okay, there was so much talk leading into this game just about you know, the coordinator change. What actual impact did that have on this game? Uh, I think everybody adjusted to it well, you know. Um, you know, we, uh, you know, we did a great job of just learning new stuff for one week. So that's a pretty tough challenge, but everybody uh, just managed to stay focused and got it done. So, you know, I think it was a great move and it worked out. What was it like trying to move the ball tonight, move the ball offensively? There seemed to be obviously some. Yeah, it, it was tough, man. You know, we, we really didn't get the ball moving like we wanted to, um, but we, we knew it was going to be a good game. You know, Clemson had a great defense, but uh, we, we just wanted to get the ball moving a little more, but we couldn't. You know, we just we had a lot of um, you know, negative plays to, to start drives that really hurt us. So, you know, it was just tough. That's uncharacteristic, you know, really all year. So why was that an issue this game? Uh, I don't, you know, I'm not sure, you know, maybe crowd noise, um, you know, cadence. It, you know, it was a lot of things that could have, you know, played a big role in that. But, you know, it hurt us a little bit. On the long touchdown, was that a bust on their part? Was that a play you guys at work? No, it was just a good, you know, good call by, the, by Coach Sark. You know, it was the same play I scored on last year, the exact same play. So, <laughs> um, you know, they fell for it again, and it worked. So. So was that a thing that carried over from Coach Kiffin, or was that a Coach Sark thing? Or no, because it was looking exactly the same, right? Yeah, it was. It was almost. But um, you know, it's you know we didn't really change up a lot. You know, we kept our same offense mixed in a little bit with the old. So you know, they, I mean, they both ran the same plays. You know, basically when they come from when they came from USC. So you know, they both knew about the play. So Coach Sark just caught it from a different formation and it worked. Given the success Bo was having out there, was that deflating when he left and didn't return? Oh yeah, absolutely, man. This guy was you know running through those guys. They didn't really want to tackle him. When he went down, it was a huge loss for us. You know, a guy who's that big and running that explosive. You know, you hate to lose a guy like that at running back. How do you think Jalen played in this game? Played good, man. You know, he, he stayed composed. You know, everything wasn't going his way. You know, like we've seen all year, man. He just played as himself. You know, huge play with two minutes left in the game to break that tackle and score a touchdown for us. Uh, take the lead. It was just, you know, it just fell in their hands. They got the ball last and they went down to score. Given what your offense or defense has done all year, did, did, were you confident going into that last two minutes that your defense would make a stop? Yeah, I was. I was confident. I always had confidence in those guys. You know, we, you know, they played great, man. They just, you know, <laughs> Clemson just made great plays on offense, man. You can't, you can't knock Mike Williams. Did those are balls that, man. This guy, you know, he made great plays. All that's all you really can say. You know, he's a top receiver and he showed it tonight. Have you been into worse how shocking it is to go undefeated and be number one until the final second of the season? How shocking? Yeah. Oh, it, it, it means, you know, it hurts. You know, uh, you wanted to, to complete the undefeated season uh, just to lose the last game of the year. You know, it hurts. Some we'll never forget, but, you know, I, I hope it feels these guys next year to come back and to, to win it all. I take it uh, this loss will make the folks coming back uh, harder. Oh, yeah, no doubt.